Hello and welcome to GrooveMe.com. This is Mark speaking, and today we have a, a practical tip and a shout out for David Saylor, the Georgia photog. He the other day was talking about a manual focus lens, um, and that you know he wanted to use the program and other modes in it, but it didn't have the chip. So you know, like a uh, AF lens, an autofocus lens, they have the chip right here that tells the cam camera what the focal length is, um, what apertures are available, so F16 being the maximum, the, comu the computer and the camera can say, well, if it's at maximum and it's moved this far, then it must be at, for this instance, F1.4. Um, and so, uh, well, let's... Uh, yeah, let's, so here's that chip, what I'm talking about. Actually, that's not it. Well, here's an AI lens. This is a 51-2 AI. See how the, it's been grooved out right here. Um, you know, big, huge glass. And then here we have a 55 millimeter pre-AI. So see right here, this here will interface with that little feeler there. And, uh, you know, there's no chip. There's, this is a, pre, this is an old, this, this is for where they only use the old cameras like the F2 where they only use the feeler. All right. So, uh, so the chip, right there is um, used by the camera to, it doesn't actually sh tell on a, uh, a prime lens what zoom it's at, it just tells the focal length to the camera. As you can see here, this is actually a pre-AI lens. There should be prongs here, but they've, they've ground out this whole area here and then this whole area here to make it an AI apostrophe D AI lens and in this case it goes from f2.8 to f16 and it has been chipped by the previous owner as well unfortunately it was supposed to be an AI lens when I bought it but you know how that goes eBay um, so when you mount it on the camera and there's that feeler right there see if you don't have this cut out right here, like on this lens, this here will actually come in contact and impact on this feeler here. And the feeler moves with the aperture ring. And that's one of the ways that the uh, camera knows how to tell what aperture you're at. The other one is there's a motor right here and this um, there's a feeler right there that contacts this little groove right there. And that's the second way it knows what uh, aperture you're at. And then the CPU contacts here come in contact with the camera body right there. So when you're putting an AI or um, AIS lens or someone that's an AI'd, you know, somebody's ground out the, 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 the metal here, when you're putting one of these on your camera, always try to make for sure, a manual focus lens, make for sure you're at your minimum aperture. So on this lens, it's F16. And what we do is drop it there. And you can see, you now this lines up with this white dot. And as it comes over, see it comes in contact with that feeler right there. And as you mount it to the camera body, click. Uh, you know, this will move with the AI lens. So when it's at minimum aperture, the camera will meter in all the modes because this, this particular lens has a um, uh, chip on it. So let's, um, let's go into live view mode. And so I have, right now I have focus peaking on. You can see probably the red right here where the camera is letting us know where it's in focus on this uh, Pentax 6x7 right there. And as I move forward, 
things go blurry and they also get out of focus as I move backwards they come into focus right and right now we're we're at minimum focus right here so um, and if we take a picture of the camera right there see it shows and this will disappear in here in a second we'll go into play it shows the ISO the shutter speed the f-stop of the lens at the time when it was done okay. now what if we so right now we're at one eighth of a second let's take it up to one one twenty fifth and let's take the I the aperture where are we at what mode am I in oh I'm in shutter priority mode right I mean I'm um, not yeah, shutter priority, aperture priority. Let's go to say manual mode. So we're at uh, 125 f16 with auto ISO now, right? The auto ISO brings us up to 25,000 on the ISO, 1125th at f16. So let's uh, let's bring her down to 2.8, or let, let's say f4. And you see we're still in focus in that area. But now we have 4,500 on the ISO f4 1 25th. So the chip is letting the camera compute the proper exposure. It's auto exposure chip, right? So uh, let's go into a different mode. So we push the mode dial, and right now we're in manual mode. Here's programmed auto mode. So programmed auto mode. Um, it's just it's you know it's not overriding anything actually but if we took a picture right now we're taking a picture at 1 125th f2.8 iso 220 at 24 millimeters all the metadata is in there then if we go into say uh, shutter priority mode and we were at 1 125th it's setting the aperture to to uh, try to keep the ISO low to 2.8, right? And if we say go up to 250th, the aperture stays the same, but the auto ISO changes. See? Uh, and then let's try that shutter priority. Aperture priority mode also works. So, as you can see, we are. Um, at 125th but if we were at aperture priority so I can change my aperture let's change it to f5 5.6 let's say and we take our picture so we're at the metadata shows 1 1 25th or I mean 1 25th at f5.6 with an ISO what was that an ISO of 800 at 24 millimeters right so all the different modes work with the auto exposure chip on your lens um, and then of course if you have an actual AF lens you actually this chip will actually communicate the focal distance with these D lenses so that flash works a little bit better um, must be for this one alright so uh, that is these auto exposure chips, you can, uh, oops, I'll turn it off. Um, you can pick them up. There's a link down in the in the description for where to find them on eBay. Uh, currently, Amazon doesn't have them. They're great little things. They're kind of pricey at 20 bucks each, so I wouldn't say chip every lens you have. You know, uh, I wouldn't chip this lens at all because other than on low end bodies, until somebody AIs it the pre-AI lenses I wouldn't chip any of them but it's a gorgeous lens um, I would chip this 50 f1.2 because it's a gorgeous lens as well and um, you know it's an AI so you just throw the chip right there and and uh, that makes it work great let's see of course the the D series lenses are already chipped so you can use them in manual focus on old cameras you can use a auto focus on all the 
more modern, you know, higher level bodies, the non four digit bodies, so 3000, 5000 series both don't. Although the 7100 and 7200 both can, and I think actually the um, 7000 can too. And, and then all the old bodies other than the low end bodies were able to use these D series. Go ahead and look at Nikon. They, they have a whole list of which, which lenses work on which cameras. Let's see. So that's it. Um, Dave, hi. Uh, take a, have some fun. Enjoy all your rest of you guys. If it helps you, great. And again, the, the links to the, um, the chip is down there in the description so you can find it. Have a great one.